Why would anyone want a travel tripod this big? Well, I can think of a couple reasons. Well, hello, if you don't know who I am, my name is Tony. I'm a filmmaker photographer in the St. Louis area. Today, we are talking about this KNF concept tripod, which uh, just as a declaimer, they sent to me for free so that I could test and review and share with you guys my thoughts. Now, the reason that I agreed to uh, checking out this tripod is because it's a little different than some of the other travel tripods that I have seen in the past. This thing is loaded with features and it is not small. Now you'll see here, it's still packable. So I can throw this in a suitcase or I can chuck it in the back of the Jeep and it's gonna be just fine. But um, it gets to be gigantic, like gigantic. <laughs> and so uh, that's what I really liked about it. A couple other features that it has besides just being able to get really tall is it turns into a monopod. It also has a 19 inch articulating arm so that you can get top down shots that are really nice. Now this is actually really hard with travel tripods because when they articulate out to the side and shoot down, the legs always get in the shot. But with a tripod this size, you can actually use some of those extra features. I really like the build quality and I love the fact that it has an Arca Swiss top plate so I can use my Peak Design capture clips right in here. The other nice thing is that it's all aluminum so it's not gonna rust on me. It's got the twist release legs so that's really fast. And like I said, it folds up pretty nice. Now when it comes to build quality, I think that it's perfectly capable and it's gonna hold up really nice. I've been actually using this for a couple months and it still honestly looks brand new. The other thing is it comes with a bag that's kind of chintzy, but uh, I don't really use bags for my tripods anyways. I've got the Peak Design travel tripod and I have never used that sleeve really ever since I got the tripod. So I don't really care how well built the bag is. And in fact, on most travel tripods, if you're looking at Manfrotto that comes with a little bag, that thing is pretty chintzy as well. So don't get hung up on that. But what you should get hung up on is the fact that this thing gets so stinking tall. <laughs> I've said that a couple times, but this is a really big selling point. So when I use other travel tripods for say shooting a wedding, what happens is I extend it all the way up and then it soon as people stand up for the ceremony, they completely block that side camera and I can't use it at all. With this one, because it gets so big, I can really get that camera up above people's heads and I don't have to worry about them cutting off my side camera. The other thing is the taller it gets, the wider these legs go. So it's gonna be nice and sturdy. I really like that. One thing that I'm not crazy about with this ball head is that they put the level on top of the mounting plate, which means as soon as you put your camera on there, you can't see the level and it's really hard to level it unless you've got a built-in level on your camera like I do. That's one thing that I wish that designers would figure out how to fix so that it's easier for you to level this while your camera's on there. It also comes with a hook on the bottom of the plate so you can stick a backpack or something on there if you need to weight down the tripod even more. All in all, I think that this is a great travel tripod and it comes in around 150 bucks right now. If you're gonna spend that money and this is your only tripod, I think this is a great one to get. I do have other travel tripods and you can see that those are significantly smaller. But the problem is with this one, it just does not have the height that I really need when it comes to using a tripod for video. There are other options for better video heads for tripods, but if you need a stationary, this one works really nice. I use this one for my secondary shots for weddings and I've got no complaints at all. All right, if you've got any questions about this tripod or if you've got any questions about camera gear, maybe you've experienced this one a little bit, leave your comments in the comment section below and I would love to start a conversation with you. All right, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel and we'll see you in the next one.